All right, guys, I wanna talk real quick about some back of napkin numbers. I didn't do this in our regular pro forma worksheet that I used just because I didn't wanna jack it up with a lot of funky interest only loan payments. So I just ran it really quick in a Google sheet, nothing fancy. Uh, real estate is not a fancy business. You can make it very, very simple. So in essence, we're looking at a 200 or a, a $127,000 purchase price. We were able to negotiate a lot on this deal and we're able to land on some very, very favorable financing terms. The owner is going to carry paper. So it's an owner finance at 5% interest only. And it's going to be an 84 month or a seven year balloon on this deal. We're going to do a 10% down payment. So just under $13,000 down, no bank closing fees, obviously, because it's an owner financed transaction. So 10% down and then a monthly payment comes out to $476. The unit is actually already pre-leased on a two year lease for $16.50 per month. So that's awesome. The client's going to walk into a cash flowing unit right away. Insurance on these condo units is rather cheap, actually. And a lot of times you don't need additional condominium um, coverage, but I always suggest it for my clients anyway. Vacancy rate, we're going to set aside a vacancy buffer anyway, just because it's a good habit to get into. And you don't know if that $16.50 client is going to be staying there forever. But we're, we're setting aside a vacancy reserve. We're also setting aside a maintenance reserve. Here's our debt service number even though it's not really debt service, it's just to service the interest. The management fee, we always set aside an 8% management fee for all of our units. The taxes on this are coming out to $107 a month, which is amazing for a Dallas property. The HOA runs at 347. Utilities are zero because they're covered by the tenant. CapEx reserve, 10% of everything we take in, make sure that we set it aside. Um, that's just good fundamental practice. So at the end of the month, you're actually setting aside almost $400 in savings. This is in a growth fund in something that you don't touch. Don't get excited when you see this number start to really grow by the end of the year and you've got $5,000 sitting in an account. Reserve it, keep it for your vacancies, keep it for the expenses that are going to come up and just let that money grow. At the end of the day, even after all of your reserves, you're still looking at a cash flow of about $100 a month, like $15.50 per month in expenses. And it's already leased out for $16.50. How amazing is that? So quick run through of the numbers. We're all scribbled through now. You can't see nothing. But anyway, you get the idea. Total expenses sitting right here at $15.50. Total income at $16.50 per month. $100 per month in positive cash flow. A total cash outlay of about thirteen dollars for a condo in Dallas that's on a, a seven-year note, right? So you'll be able to hold this thing interest only for the next seven years and then decide on your next financing strategy, whether that's going to be do a cash out refinance, do a value add, and then sell it in seven years and see where the market is. Lots and lots of options. So I'm very, very very pleased about this play. I think it'll be an excellent option for our client and I can't wait to get this in closed.